Hello, this is Denise Castro, and today I would like to talk to you about a wonderful little gem that I found this week. It's called Screen Shader. If your eyes are sore and tired from looking at your computer, you might want to try this out. It's a lifesaver for me. Let me give you a little test. This is the blue light typical screen that we'll have on our devices. This is with the screen shader. And I don't know about you, but this is very soothing to my eyes. Let me show you again. Here's the blue light. Here is the nice, beautiful amber light. Now, the screen shader allows us to make different settings. So if you don't like it this deep of an orange, then you can change it. Um, there's actually a lot of colors you can change your screen to. So if you like how this feels and you don't want to have to wear the blue light protection glasses all the time, then try this out. Okay, so what you'll do is actually go to your Chrome web store. So you can actually just type that into the um, the search here and then click on Chrome Web Store and then you're going to type in screen shader and you're going to see it comes up right here screen shader smart screen tinting all right, and so what you're gonna do, you can kind of look and learn a little more about it if you want to. Apparently a lot of research has gone into this and so it's interesting to find out. So if you wanna have this, you're gonna click add to Chrome and then you're gonna click add extension. Now this is typical advice for extensions, whatever you're reading there, so don't worry about it. Um, okay, so here we go. There say, thank you for downloading screen shader. Your eyes will thank you. Mine sure are. Okay, so it also says be sure to install the Chrome theme. It'll darken your browser. I also have that installed right now, but if you want to get that as well, it gives like another nice soothing deepness to your computer. And then if you want that, then you can click add to Chrome, follow the same steps. Um, I already have mine added in. Okay, so then how do you get there? So let me just open up a new tab really quick. I'm gonna type in uh, virtual learning. And here we go, I've got my typical blue light screen going on here. Okay, but I'm gonna click on this little puzzle piece. You guys see this gray puzzle piece to the top right where it says extensions. I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna scroll down and I am going to look for where it says screen shader. It's got like a little orange circle with like a little nice green leaf there. You're gonna click screen shader and that's gonna give you your settings. So um, let's see, see this little orange circle here? We can kind of drag that across and look how the orange kind of deepens. Oh, it feels so good on my eyes. So you can kind of change that shade um, also, you can change the color. So if you want a deeper orange, you could have a deeper orange. Oh, so nice. Um, so you can actually change with all these colors. I actually like this one the best. And then I kind of just take it to the shade. If my eyes are really sensitive, I'll make this pretty deep. But right here is actually pretty nice. And then I leave that there. And then every page that I do, let me look, click on my canvas, for example. It's going to pop up with this nice little filter on it. If you want to be able to have that screen shader pop up here with all your other extensions so that way you can toggle the settings throughout your work time, you can actually click on this same gray puzzle piece and scroll down to find the screen shader. And then see this little pin right here? You can actually pin that up to the top of your bar so that way you can always access it. So I'm going to click and it turns blue and you'll notice I've got it right here. And then if I want to, I can just click on it and drag it over. Maybe I want it further up here so I can play with it more. Okay, so then that way, anytime I come to a new page and maybe it's not quite what I'm wanting, I maybe I want to make it lighter or even darker, I can really easily access my toggle there. See that? So it pops in and out. So that might be something you wanna try out as well. So there you are, good luck.